is your influences, it sounds like it's very all over, but are there any specific, maybe a few names you could throw out that really got you thinking about it in a different way? Yeah, uh, uh, the graffiti or art in general? Or? Uh, could be art in general or graffiti. Just any uh, artist that influenced you in both worlds even, the art world and the graffiti well, world. Uh, probably the person that leaps to mind first is uh, my friend Doze, Doze Green, Doze TC5, um, who's a very influential character uh, in the graffiti world and as well as the hip-hop world. He was a member of Rocksteady Crew and also uh, TC5 Graffiti Crew, um, who I'm affiliated with now. But Doe's um, was living in San Francisco when I went out there. Now Doe's has a similar background to me, very New York centrified graffiti background and um, deep roots and history in that culture. But with being in San Francisco, he, he had he he had opened up and was doing other things and um, he was starting to do gallery shows at that time and transferring or transforming what he did into gallery work and with that with it being done that way with him doing it he was one of the people that first showed me the possibility that you could take what you're doing over here and you know tinker with it and play with it here you know this way and that way and you know Put it on canvas, and with doing that, it, it allowed you to have time and leisure, and uh, to really push it in different ways. So, with being around him, not only my discussions with him, but uh, hanging out with him at his studio and watching the way he did his work, and he's the person that really, I think, started turning the gears in my head to that this can be done. I'd like to keep pushing myself uh, in the gallery world and move up the ranks and the different tiers of galleries. I ultimately would like to be making a living completely solely off of my artwork. Um, my own own artwork. Um, I do make a living uh, as a creative person and about Half my income right now comes from either paint sales or other projects such as murals and walls. So I do make a living as an artist, um, but I would completely like to be solely just doing my fine art and unload any commercial work that I have to deal with. I'm, I'm very tired of that. I would love to just sit in my studio and have shows lined up for the next five years and just be like bang, 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 and uh, selling paintings. Um, I'd like to travel more, I know that much. It's interesting how you've said that, you know, there was the initial rush of doing it, like doing it quick, you know, getting over fences and going and working quick, and now as you develop, you, you won't like to have the time to, here yeah, I can just but, take my, you know? Yeah. That rush to hop the fence and go do something, it never goes away. Yeah. I mean, you got the freight tracks right back here, and watching the freight trains roll by with everybody's name on it, you know, you start going, hmm, you know. That never disappears. I had a lot of fun for a lot of years doing that. And, um, you know, that never goes away. If I had the free time and the right place, and, you know, I might go hop a fence and crawl under a bridge to write my name again. Cool. But right now, most of my time is taken up with art shows. So.